Hey guys, how's everyone doing this morning? Um, this is the Virginia Bushcrafter and today I am going to try and harvest a deer so that I can give it to an elderly person. Now the first thing that I'm going to have to do is go sight in my rifle. It should be sighted in from last year but this is my first time getting out this year so I'm gonna go and sight it in at a make sure that it's sighted in at a hundred yards and then there's a location I'm gonna go to that is not very far from here but uh, basically my hunt is gonna be an evening hunt uh, I'm gonna go near some uh, wood lines or tree lines, wood lines, and hopefully a deer will come out. And if so, I will field dress it and uh, take it to be butchered and give it to a happy family. But from what I'm seeing right now, I've seen quite a few cars here. The area that I'm going to, I think, it's right at 5,000 acres. So I've seen a um, about three or four hunters leaving. So I'm saying, well, maybe that's a good thing for me, but um, so I'm gonna see what happens. So I'll be hunting, hunting until about uh, maybe 30 minutes after sundown. That's the, uh, the legal time to hunt. Uh, here in Northern Virginia so again guys I'm just headed down to the uh, sighting range I want to ensure that uh, my rifle is set it is sighted in at a hundred yards because I will not be shooting at anything beyond 100 yards uh, because of the density so those are my plans for today and um, then I'm looking forward to getting in the bush um, narrow road so I had let another vehicle go past so anyway guys I am at the um, sighting range as you can see, it's not that many people here. Maybe that, ha I don't know, ammunition has something to do with the cost of ammunition. But anyway, guys, I'm going to sight this rifle in, and I will see you afterwards. Stay safe. Well, guys, I have the rifle sighted in. However, it took me 14 shots to get to... The orange portion but that goes to show you when your equipment lies uh, unused for a while you may think that your rifle is sighted in but it's always good to come back and sight it in sight it in again before you go hunting so again uh, 14 shots to get to here I don't know, but nevertheless, it's there. And also, just as practice, I'm going to be using a compass. Now, with the compass, I know exactly where I'm going. So guys, I have set the bearing on my compass and it is at 38 degrees northeast. So I know I will be coming back at 218 degrees southwest.
the noise that you hear in the background, I'm just departing the uh, shooting range. So I'm going to head to my location and uh, I'll see you there. Well, guys, I'm going to my spot. Something just tells me to go there and sit. Even though it's not very far from the range. But I'm sure the deer in this area are somewhat used to it. And I'm pretty sure that, well, I know the deer are bedded down right now. But I'm going to go to a location. Um, and hopefully one, one deer will come out of the wood line or the tree lines and I can get lucky but uh yeah I'm gonna trek in for about a mile the only thing about it though if I get a deer then I've got to trek back a mile with it but I shall see but yeah I'm just gonna go and sit and see what happens I mean it is deer season and I understand that bear season starts tomorrow so I'll be doing a lot of bushcrafting and hunting at the same time but this is a lot of area that I can come and bushcraft I mean I would never run out of places to bushcraft in the area that I live in but again I did set my compass I set a GPS system in the event that I just really get tired of being in one location and decide to go to another one even though I know I know this area pretty well but you never know you can get twisted up so I'm going to hike on in. I should be there. Uh, not too long from now, but once I get there, I'll show you my spot where I'm going to be sitting because uh, we can hunt until 30 minutes after dark. And I'm thinking that's when the deer will start to come out. So. See you at my location, guys. Hey, guys. Well, I decided to leave the location uh, where I was. I just could not bear hearing the uh, rounds from the range. Even though I have seen deer behind the burn. But, um, I don't know, I, I think I'm going to, plus the area that I went up, that I went to, there are weeds taller than me, and I don't think I would have any good luck there. So I'm going to go to another location, and hope I have better luck there. Alright guys, I'll see you uh, at my next location. Hey guys, I am at a uh, another location. One thing I have noticed about a lot of the kiosks, there are a lot of vehicles there, which means a lot of people are doing hunting. Um, I just saw one lady, and she told me there's a place that's about 200 yards down this way. She did see a couple of does earlier today. But she's looking for a place to uh, park because she has a son with her and uh, she needs uh, room for two people. But um, I'm going to head down this way and um, I only have maybe, I don't need, maybe two hours of daylight. So, but I'm thinking if I get something and this is going to be a long drive. So, I'm going to keep heading down this way. And she told me don't go beyond the creek. I should see a log that has fallen 
across the creek. So, I'll see what happens. Soon again, anyway guys, I'm going to try to get down here quickly. Because I really don't have much time left. It's going to be dark. Really quick. But, so I'll see you uh, once I get down there. Or, if I get something, I'll just be dragging it up all night. Alright guys. Hey guys, this is the uh, location the lady told me about. There is a log right there. But I'm not really saying this has been a good spot. So I am going to... Uh, I'm going to go across this creek. And go up further. I think I can do better if I cross this creek. I'm gonna keep this place in mind for uh, I'm gonna keep this place in mind for uh, some bush crafting, but. I'm going to go on top of uh, a rail so that I can look downward. signs of I see a trail marker so that tells me it's an old trail marker that so someone has been up in this area I'm gonna go up a little further oh my gosh see there's a hunter over there Hey guys, this is one of the challenges you have when you're on uh, public land. So, I'm just gonna go uh, up a little further. I'll see you when I get a deer or I see you when I'm either when I get a deer or when I'm exiting. Hey guys, I still have not seen a deer yet. Uh, the only thing I'm seeing is some other people and a lot of cars in the parking area. But I don't know. I think it's um, a lot more people that are hunting now for obvious reasons. But I'm going to sit here as long as I can. Uh, it's the only thing I can do now is just wait. But this would be a nice place to, to bushcraft as well, I think. There's, except there's just, this is basically pine. All of this is basically pine. I think this would be a nice place because there's a creek. I can have water. I don't have to bring a lot of water with me. 
there's plenty of dead standing wood and I don't see any widow makers and I'm not on a game trail and I'm slightly going up a ridge so the weather would be the only concern if I'm on top of a ridge that I'm gonna get the brunt of the wind but guys I'm just gonna sit here and uh, see if I see a deer I'll be back Guys, do you hear the turkeys? It's like, where are they doing turkey season? Yeah, I thought I heard something in here, but it was nothing but some turkeys. Well, guys. I'm gonna wait another 10 or 15 minutes to see what happens. Maybe something will come in here. Then I've got to deal with field dressing it in the dark, even though I have lights. So, see you in a few. All right, YouTube as well. No luck today, but uh, I'll see you when I'm in some light. Hey guys, well nothing better than having a good hot cup of coffee. But um, no deer today. No, I don't mean D-E-A-R, but no D-E-E-R today. So, but it still was a fun time. So I'm going to look at the positive out of this. I got to sight in my rifle at 100 yards, even though it took me 14 rounds to do it. Should not have taken that many, but nevertheless it did. Wasn't a, a complete bullseye, but I kept everything within the um, pie area. So I'm still good at 100 yards for anything around here because in my area, everything is so dense. So I'm good for bear, deer, or whatever. And the rifle I sighted in is a 30-06. Uh, I was I am using Remington Corlock 180 grain pointed soft points. I've always used those. I know that's a large round for a deer, but uh, I really don't like chasing or tracking deers. So that's a good thing. Uh, <clears throat> the next thing is I went to a location. I had to walk a mile, stayed there for a while, decided, nah. Too much noise from the rain, so I had a mile walk, so I got a good two mile walk in there. Also looking at the each time I had to go down and check my target, that was a hundred yard walk there and back. So 200 yards every time I had to go check my target, which was like every three rounds. I uh, went to another location. Um, met some people, uh, they advised me of an area it was okay, but really wasn't what I was looking for. But the good thing of, about that is that it's a good, it's a great bush, uh, bushcraft site. Uh, nice little stream, and so I I don't have to bring a lot of water. The only downside is that there's a lot of pine, and you know, pine burns quickly. But uh, that's an area that I'm going to explore during the day. And then I'll make my determination if I'm going to um, if I'm going to bushcraft there. But all in all, you know, for the time that was allotted today, I think it, it was okay. Uh, no, it, no, actually, it was fun. And, you know, and, and one thing I saw is I saw a lot of people out uh, hunting. You know, um, enjoying nature. That's what I call it. But yeah, this was very, very unusual. 
I, you know, when you go to a parking lot, a kiosk or, or something, and you see that many cars, I just automatically assume that there is at least two people per vehicle. So it was, uh, I think the uh, woods was crowded. But again, you know, a lot of people are hunting for whatever reason. You know, I've never seen this many hunters. But uh, I'll be back at it again. Let's see. Today is Saturday, Tuesday or Wednesday, one of those days. But bear season starts. I will be sighting in another rifle, a 300 Win Mag. I mean, that thing already, it's a it's a tack driver, but I'm going to sight it in again anyway, but uh, just to make sure. But all in all, hey, it was it was okay. Um, I got some exercise in. I found me a uh, another bushcrafting location. Met some good folks. Uh, got my rifle sighted in. I just don't like the fact that I had to use 14 rounds to do so. But it's where I want. Well, it's not a total bullseye. But um, like I said, anything that I keep within the pie, I'm good. So, all right, guys, I'm going to have the rest of this coffee and head home. See you next time. Enjoy and stay safe. This is the Virginia Bushcrafter signing out.